All right, let's get into this. My Hero Academia, Chapter 308. And just to preface this real quick, this is my first time doing a manga reaction. So if I appear to have a third grade reading level, just let it slide this time. This is a learning experience for all of us, so <laughs> let's do this, man. All right, starting off, we got Deku looking mean right here. I'd never forget you. It's really you, right? Right? So, looks like we're getting a rematch between Deku and Muscular, but Deku looks a little bit different. And I wonder if it has to do with the vestiges. Because the last time we saw him, we saw him talking with, I think, most of the vestiges, but there were two where we couldn't see their faces. And the chapter ended with the first vestige saying, like, all right, are you guys gonna, like, fill them in on everyone's powers? Or, like, are you guys going to uh, reveal yourselves now, I guess? But we haven't seen anything since. So I think one of their quirks might be at play right here. Midoriya, I've missed you, little guy. All these pathetic wimps just don't measure up. It's not enough. All right. And look at him, just calm, collected. Hmm, not so fast. Don't run away. It's not like that. You've got me all wrong. I ain't out for revenge or anything so dramatic. The way I see it, going wild with my quirk is all I could ever ask for. But I'm only human, you know? Oh, wait. Let me update. We're on page three. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I gotta remember that. We're on page three right now. Let's see. You taught me a new meaning of fun back then. And that was the point of no return. We see his eye is gone. Ugh. It's still bleeding, too. So it hasn't healed after all this time. All right, he didn't jump high enough. Oh, he jumped straight into the building? What the heck? That was nowhere near where Deku was. Okay, so he just tears the entire building in half. Let's go at it all full power Midoriya. So he is back with a vengeance. Muscular is trying to take him down for real this time. And we know that Deku is stronger, but has Muscular gained any new tricks since then? Hopefully. Hopefully. So, the building's collapsing. What's going on? Can't see with all the smoke. How's that boy doing? So, these are the guys that are inside of the building. Um, I wonder if Muscular would have gone after them if the heroes never showed up. Okay, page five. Ah, glad you're here. Take care of him, okay? Yo, how could you be so dumb? Okay, okay. So it looks like Yo is still good. He got messed up pretty badly by Muscular, but he's still hanging in there. That's good to see. I'm sorry I didn't get here sooner. He needs first aid. Darn, so many buildings already got wrecked. But no more damage from now on. Right. It's hard to see through the smoke, but I swear I know that voice from somewhere. Who is he? Dude, I don't even know. Is this Deku? I mean, I'm guessing it is, but he must be using one of the quirks from the earlier vestiges, because I've never seen him like this before. It looks like, like his eyes are different. I wonder what the heck their quirks are doing that's making him like this. Alright, that was too much? Yeah, you've spread your control too thin. Okay, so they, this is the vestiges. They're right here talking to him while he's in the battlefield. That's too much of my smoke screen. Got it. So smoke screen, that's one quirk. I think we learned about that one. Didn't I mention how it could backfire if the opponent gets the drop on you? Yes. One for All's influence has really opened the floodgates. Keep in mind that the greater power has been built up across eight generations of users. Man. Eight whole generations of power we got right here. It's a massive unwieldy power. And as the ninth user, of course you're feeling the brunt most than most what more than any of us. Okay, so at times like this, try to relax a little. Our quirks are mostly standalone abilities that will never raise to the level of ultimate moves. It's almost like you have too much respect for these quirks. Okay, okay, interesting. So now we see a couple of them being used at the same time wait that rocket on his back or that like jetpack on his back is that a quirk or is that like a um what are they called the uh support 
I guess machines. I don't know how the heck he got a hold of that, but let's see. Deku's eyes look like All Might's in a way. Honestly, they actually do. I guess the only difference is you can still see Deku's pupils. Well, no, no, you can with All Might too. You're right. They do look a lot like All Might's. Yeah, it's the mask from the suit. He put it on again. Maybe it's a symbol how he became a vigilante. True, true. I wonder if we're going to have to get into the My Hero Vigilantes manga after this. Instead, think of them as simply tools in your arsenal. Okay, and then we see him whipping all the tools out at once. Approach the problem strategically and use your tools to put together a plan. Alright, muscular. The man who is still standing after taking on 100% smashes. No, I'd never forget him either. The seventh float, okay. This is really cool, dude. This is really cool. So, I guess the one thing that Midoriya has, thanks to overall, or overall, thanks to one for all, that's really useful is the fact that he kind of has this toolkit that he can carry around with him, which has a bunch of, like, minor quirks that he can use to... I guess adjust or adapt to any situation really whereas most people only have one very powerful quirk so this is really cool to see I can limit visibility with the sixth smoke screen and guide him towards me gotta dig up the memories of that night and that battle oh man was that muscular talking all right so he's finally swooping in he swings at him and oh he actually hit him Sent him flying too, Midoriya! We see Midoriya smacking against the side of an apartment complex. The fifth's Black Whip, all right. We're finally bringing it back out. The fourth's a Danger Sense, helps me read his moves better. Okay, he got a hold of Muscular and he slams him into, what is that, a river? Dang. So clearly, these black whips must be pretty freaking durable. If they're able to contain someone like Muscular, who can not only, like, raise his physical capabilities, but he can also, like, I guess, um, increase his mass. Like, he can just make his muscles bigger and bigger. And I wonder if, even if he did that, would he be able to break through these black whips? It's a pretty interesting question. Cheap party tricks? What's the deal? Alright, so it looks like that hardly even phased him. I know Shigaraki and All For One released you. Where are they now? Who knows? They just told me to go wild and left me on my own. Why ask them when I'm right here? You're bumming me out. All these little gimmicks. Boring. Come on, let's have a rematch. Mano a mano. No holds barred. So it seems like he's just been playing around this whole time. Like... He's not hurt at all, he's not phased, and it also seems like Deku isn't too messed up either. Why do you rage like this? I just want to live without regrets. Regrets such as, such as not indulging and having fun every chance I get. Was there really no other path for you, Goto Imasuji? Nope. Oh man, it's about to heat up, look at him, you can see that killer intent in his eye. You try simp- whoa. You trying to sympathize with me or something? Pedal that crap somewhere else. Cause all you'll find in my soul, if I had known, maybe things would have worked out differently, is blood and violence. This guy, he's too far gone, man. I don't know if this is someone that we could ever bring back to, I guess, being a person that could function in normal society. Like, he's too far gone. He's like a natural born killer at this point and I don't know if we could ever calm him but I don't know I don't know only the future will tell this is someone who has hurt many people someone who has killed others seems like this fight is inevitable but at least I want to learn what makes him tick deep down okay so Deku's trying to understand him more trying to get inside of his head a bit more you turned out real boring, kid. And look, we can see his muscles are like... I don't know, are they tearing at this point? Has he, like, used his quirk so much that the muscle fibers are starting to tear? Okay. In the gaps between those muscles you coat yourself with... 
Let's see. The strands depleted of energy tend to rip and tear away. He didn't jump high enough. A guy who shies away from tactics and strategy wouldn't per wouldn't purposely jump to a lower floor like that. And I noticed how your muscle armor is uneven in spots. Okay. Okay, so Deku's starting to pick him apart. He's starting to point out his weaknesses. And he can see that, I guess you could say Muscular is overexerting himself a bit. I guess someone's been honing those vibrations in the meantime. Oh, okay, okay. Sneaky little this is also my full power. All right. Let's go, Deku. Let's go, dude. Next chapter hits April 18th. All right. So that is the end of chapter 308. Now, I'm going to stick on this screen for a little bit longer just because I want to have a little bit of a discussion before I head back to the main overlay and like show everyone the new manga that we're going to be reacting to. Because I don't want to spoil them over there. So, in this episode, we got to see Deku and Muscular kind of duke it out. There wasn't any serious damage done, from what it seems, except to Muscular. But it also seems like a lot of the damage that's happening to him was his own. And maybe even um, a little bit of Yo when he used his vibration quirk. Maybe that did actually have some effect on him. But, um... Now we definitely see his muscles are tearing, and he seems very self-destructive at this point. I think he's at the point where he's going to do whatever it takes to get that enjoyment, to get that thrilling fight with Midoriya here, even if it costs him his life. And we can kind of see his body falling apart, his muscles are tearing, and once they start tearing, he's not going to be nearly as powerful, as fast, as durable. So Deku clearly seems to be in the advantage here, but we really have no idea where things are going to go from here. And also, in the beginning of this chapter, I mentioned that Deku's got a lot of new tricks now. He was able to take him out before, but now Deku's even stronger, and Muscular doesn't seem to have really learned anything or gained anything since we last fought him, so this might actually be a wash. But, I mean, when it comes to this chapter, that's pretty much all of my thoughts. Thank you all so much for watching alongside me, sticking through the reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.